It is now my honor to uh, introduce the commencement speaker for Mercer County Community College graduating class of 2019. Mercer County Under Sheriff Pedro Medina has served the citizens of Mercer County as a law enforcement officer for more than three decades. He came to this country when he was 12, attending junior high school in Trenton and graduating from Trenton Central High. He continued his academic career here at Mercer and went on to graduate from Trenton State College, formerly known as the College of New Jersey. No, that's what it's called now. Under Sheriff Medina began his career in 1982 as a patrol officer in the Trenton Police Department and quickly rose through the ranks. He went on to serve as a detective in the department's Criminal Investigation Bureau, gaining assignments in the youth section and the burglary and homicide squads. He earned three notorious service awards for outstanding performance. In 2004, Under Sheriff Medina was promoted to Detective Sergeant and served as the Trenton Police Department's Public Information Officer until his retirement in 2010, following 29 years of distinguished service. But that wasn't all. His retirement didn't last long, as in 2011, Mercer County Sheriff Jack Kemmler tapped him to become Mercer County's first undersheriff, a position he holds today. As undersheriff, he supervises many of the day-to-day -day operations of the Mercer County Sheriff's Office. Class of 2019, it is my honor and my privilege to introduce to you a proud alumnus of Mercer County Community College, Mercer County Under Sheriff Pedro Medina. Pedro? I'm starting to understand what is going on. When I first came in and when we assembled, all these fine people sitting back here sat me down, big bright light, and they said, how long are you gonna speak for? <laughs> and I went, wait, wait, why are you asking? Because we are concerned about our graduates. You know what? You have a lot of people that love you and care for you. Board of Trustees, President Wong, County Executive Hughes, freeholders, distinguished guests, parents, family, and the class of 2019, good evening. The task of dispensing advice to a group of bright new graduates, and worse, the tax to reassure all of you about the future does not come easily for me. Ask any high school or college classmate of mine, and they will tell you that I will be a serious contender for the most unlikely to give a commencement address here tonight. More so, the current events and the state of affairs in our world are no help when it comes to dispensing optimism. Yet tonight, I will try to bring you to the hope and the joy you deserve for graduating from this great institution of learning. Whether you are young, single, married with a family, just starting out, older and still eager to learn, Everyone in here with a cap and gown has sacrificed a great deal to get here tonight. You have worked hard to excel in your classes, studied until you could not do so anymore, and passed all of you exams. So, yes, you made it. And as you all sit here, know that you should be beaming with pride. In addition, your family, loved ones, parents, and professors are very proud too, for they have passed on their life experiences 
academic skills to you that will hopefully, hopefully remain in your toolbox for decades to come. Please, allow me a moment to quickly tell you about my own story and my struggles to get to this podium. I came to the United States as a child from Puerto Rico. When I got here, I knew no English. My parents enrolled me in junior high school number four, where my teacher, Mrs. Whitaker, spent an hour each day to teach me English. I worked very hard and did well in high school. However, let me say this to you. After high school, I enrolled in a four-year college. But being from the inner city, I was not ready for a big college. I was a fish out of water, and I bombed out miserably. Soon after, I enrolled in Mercer County Community College, where I connected immediately and received solid direction that gave me the necessary skills, discipline, and confidence to succeed. I made the dean list. I earned a degree here, just like all of you. Later. I joined the Marines, graduated from Trenton State College and the Trenton Police Academy. I probably served with the Trenton Police Department for 29 years and quickly learned that law enforcement cannot do its job without the trust of the community. Soon after, Sheriff Jack Kembler kindly asked me to be his undersheriff and I was sworn in as the first Latino on the sheriff in the history of Mercer County. Thank you. Where I proudly serve today. And as county executive, Brian Hughes can attest, Jack Kembler is considered to be one of the best sheriffs Mercer County has ever had. Sheriff Kembler affirmed that law enforcement was my calling. And today, I realize that going to college is a big plus for today's public safety officers because of the new technology, new management techniques, and the need for analytics to solve crime. Because of my upbringing in the United States and my work in the community, I feel that most immigrants are loving, caring, and family-oriented who came to this country with a purpose. Like all people, that purpose was to find a better way of life for all of us. And having come here as a child, I truly believe that those of us who came before were the forerunners who paved the way for the hardworking immigrants residing in Mercer County today. In short, all right, Rain. In short, I am talking about everybody who came to this country before you, made incredible sacrifices that you could be well educated and be on your way to start a successful family and careers. Right before this thunderstorm, our very inspiring commencement speaker was speaking. So at this point, I'd like to invite him back to the podium. Life is about love and philosophy. In everyone's life, rain must fall. As I was saying, because of my upbringing in the United States 
and my work in the community, I feel that most immigrants are loving, caring, and family-oriented who came to this country with a purpose. Like all people, that purpose was to find a better way of life for all of us. And having come here as a child, I truly believe that those of us who came before you were the forerunners who paved the way for the hardworking immigrants residing in Mercer County today. In short, I am talking about everybody who came to this country before you, made incredible sacrifices that you could be well-educated and be on your way to start a successful family and careers. And because we paved the way, newly born children from immigrant families are less likely today to be impoverished and much better educated than their immigrant parents and grandparents. For it is the American way to strive for a better life for your children and children's children. Many of you will start new jobs soon. Some of you may show your diploma to your boss on Monday and seek a new position or a raise. Some of you may go on to earn a four-year degree, or better yet, a master's or PhD. Yeah. Nevertheless, you're over the first hurdle of higher education and can now call yourself a graduate. However, thank you. However, learning is a lifelong process. And I assure you that you will learn new things every day. So tonight, I would like to take a few minutes to make some suggestions or maybe some observations. Ask yourself right now, how do you want to be remembered decades from now? Listen, how do you want to be remembered decades from now? My friends, I hope that in addition to being a good law enforcement officer for over three decades, that I will be remembered for my charity, kindness, goodness, and faith. That I protected and served the citizens of Mercer County honorably, with dignity and fairness. That during my lifetime, I learned peace and compassion for myself and others. I hope and pray that I will be remembered for practicing tolerance, respect, human affection, goodness, and a passion for life. So again, I ask yourself, how do you want to be remembered decades from now? However, no life comes without criticism or mistakes. Learn to accept criticism and do not become so preoccupied with that failure that you forgot, forget how to grow from it. Do not be afraid to follow your heart. Carve your own path and avoid following someone else's road to false glory. Break any rules or traditions along the way. Get out there and succeed. Land a great job, make a salary that you never ever dream of making. Use your education from Mercer to land the big corner office, but do it with humility, kindness, and without stepping on toes. As you go through life, you will work hard and struggle to get ahead, but always remember your core values. Work your tail off, grow 
be creative, earn your pay, and create inner wealth. Pave a new path for yourself from what you learn at this great college. Break the shackles that may be holding you back and cross a new bridge towards a successful future. However, carve out time for your loved ones. Carve out time to help a neighbor, a friend, a volunteer. Volunteer just for an hour or two hours a week and make a real difference. It is common in our lives to avoid rebels and eccentric people. Why? Because they to easily drag you into the cesspool of negativity and complaints that suck the life out of any room. However, I urge you to sometimes take a moment to listen to the misfits in your world. Perhaps they are frustrated because they are too much about their goals. Often it is a simple as their non-conforming ideas are not being heard. Steve Jobs, Mark Zuckerberg, Sheryl Sandberg, and Elon Musk were all labeled misfits at one point in their lives and refused to have their ideas rejected. And while they persevered, their results were incredible. Trust me, I am not asking you to seek out ridiculous fools, but do not be afraid to seek input or an idea from an eccentric outlier. His or her ideas could easily result in great success for everyone. You know, look to your left, look to your right, graduates, look all around. Did I tell you, you look beautiful with your cap and gowns. Yeah. My friends, what I wish you no ill or pain, I truly know that each one of you will certainly fall down someday. That you may fall down so hard from making a mistake that your head spins. Moreover, that someday you will be challenged and confronted far beyond your normal capacity. For I believe that mistakes are truly for learning and not for repeating. Listen, mistakes are truly for learning and not for repeating. In addition, making those big mistakes while dreadful, are opportunities to learn and grow. And how you handle your biggest mistakes will say a lot about you and how big your success will be. Do not let a personal or business failure define you. How you learn and rise up from your mistakes or bad decisions will be a test of your true character. Remember, there are no such things as true perfection and the perfect person. And thank God for that. For those, those who say they really made blunders are living false lives without taking risks. If you're not making errors in life, it means you are not stepping out of your comfort zone. So take a chance. Step outside your comfort zone and push the envelope. If it blows up, embrace your missteps. But if it succeeds, embrace the glory that is yours. I stand here before you and tell you that I made many, many mistakes in my life. Heck, I have been knocked down so many times that I have lost count. Remember, life is not 
perfect. Embrace your errors and learn from your mistakes. As an alumnus of this great college, I sat there where you are seated many decades ago. I know you, like me, will see and experience so many new things in the years to come. I work like crazy to become successful in my own little piece of the world. I raised three beautiful children, bought a home, got divorced. I ran for mayor and lost. I ran for freeholder and lost again. I worked successfully to help the local Latino community thrive. I found love with my wife, Leslie, and got remarried. I found love and heartbreak more times than I could remember. So I became a better man, a better husband, and grandfather. I buried my own <clears throat> I buried my own son 14 months ago due to the opiate epidemic. <clears throat> Enough said. Life does not follow a straight line but it's actually a puzzled rat in a mysterious series of events. In my lifetime, I watched a space shuttle explode in the sky. A housing bubble ravaged our economy, sat in lines as long as a mile to get a half tank of gasoline. I watched the fall of the Berlin Wall that gave birth to new freedoms. I have seen the inventions of the first PC the first flip phone and the internet, wow. As a child, I watched on TV, the first man walk on the moon, and decades later, watched two planes slam into the Twin Towers. I personally sheltered in place for days during Maria, Category 5 hurricane, on a visit to Puerto Rico. I went to visit my mom just a year and a half ago. Don't think for a minute that I know that my family, thank you. Don't think for a minute that I know that my family and I could have easily died in the hurricane. And I wonder sometimes what saved us. For it surely was the grace of God that saved us all. <laughs> Graduates, I know you're ready for this. In conclusion, <laughs> but Remember, how do you want to be remembered decades from now? What will you see and become in 10, 20, 30, or maybe 50 years ahead of you? I cannot imagine. However, I know that God will be there for you. And by his grace, mercy, and love, he will be on your shoulders as he has always been on mine. You are ready and well prepared by this great college. Yeah. I wish you peace, success, and the ability to rise up from your mistakes. So go out there and take on your own world. God bless you. Thank you.
Thank you so very much, Undersheriff Medina.